welcome back. We've got our esteemed panel here again, trying to test their expertise by recreating some snooker classic shots from years gone by. They're scoring each other, which has proved quite contentious, to be fair. We do have a leaderboard, which is currently headed up by Steve Davis. Still all to play for, though. Plenty of points left. Our next shot is Hen's Calamity. This was for a maximum break. And you imagine the pressure. It didn't show, but, you know, you can imagine the queue <laughs> moving about. And all you've got to do is put a little tracer left-hand side on and hit it too hard, and you miss it. That's what happened. It wasn't as bad as that. <laughs> the fact that you nearly doubled that in the corner pocket meant that it was a poor effort in many ways. Now, I, I, I know there's another shot to go, and I could be strangling myself tactically here, but I feel it's a one. Difficult one to mark. If Kevin would have potted that black into one a car, I'm going to draw a picture of the car for you and give you a mark of, I don't know, two. I two. Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> a difficult one to mark. Two. A picture of the car, though. Well, actually, John, to be fair, I thought you replicated that shot quite well, particularly the shaking at the back end. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to give you Big Fat Lady, number eight. Thank you, Ken. You hit it too hard, JV. I Ken. think that's what happened with Ken, though. Didn't you think he hit it that hard? Well, I'm... well I'll, give you, I'll give you. I won't be as bad as the two up the other end. I can't believe well, I mean, they haven't got a sense of humour. <laughs> well, <laughs> mind you, had a great sense of humour whenever I potted the black in the middle pocket and you give me one point. <laughs> but I'll give you four. <laughs> that's the type of guy I am. What sort of a competition is this? <laughs> Oh, I hope it goes in. Hold it, oh, there you go. Gets in. <laughs> I think he tried to pot it. I'm going to give him one. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm with Neil all the way. I think he tried to pot that, and he just he doesn't like blacks. He just doesn't <laughs> like blacks off the spot either. <laughs> one. Well, I don't think that's fair. I think it was a, a pretty good effort, and... You know, it was a little bit of artistic uh, impression went into that. So I'm going to be a bit more generous, uh, not too much more. So I'm going to give him a one as well. <laughs> well, I, I am of the opinion when I was arguing the case before when Steve gave me one that we're trying to emulate what happened. And I thought that was a perfect replication of Ken's Miss Black. But, having thought about it, <laughs> having thought about it, <laughs> I'm going to give him one as well. Uh, for being perfect. <laughs> oh, oh, that one. Oh, yes. It's in. Oh. Oh, I meant that one. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, you played I mean, it too soft, Ken. You every pocket a chance you should have given. Absolutely, yeah. Well, I like Neil's way of thinking, you know, playing hard, <laughs> it's for a maximum break and a lovely... <laughs> and, play and, middle, and, yeah. and hit it hard enough that you might fluke it in the middle. Yeah. Don't like that way of thinking, Neil. <laughs> You're only getting four for that. Oh, that's a good goal. <laughs> that's what's... Uh, no, I'd have to agree with Dennis. Uh, it was a good effort, though. It nearly went into this middle, although you yeah. pointed to that middle. Yeah. So, uh, for effort yeah. alone, I'm going to be very generous and give you a... I just <laughs> like the presentation of it. But not that much. <laughs> <laughs> I think the line that Neil actually hit the ball on was perfect. But yeah. the fact that you've basically turned the tournament into a farce has gone against you. And all of a sudden we wonder what we are doing here. But I'm still going to give you a four for the line. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> We're sitting in the commentary box and I thought Ken has going to win an £80,000 sports car. But I thought you should have went back to the table and wiped. You came round. And I thought you should have given yourself a bit more time. And I also thought you should have put your hand on the table. And I also thought <laughs> should have you shouldn't have stunned it. You should have, you should have rolled it in. But so in other words, he shouldn't have gone back to his tail wipe his cue. He should have come to the commentary box and actually <laughs> should have played it. Damn, mate. What a, oh, it's, oh, well, I'll I'll tell tell you that was a good effort. <laughs> that I'll was. tell you what. Well, that was a very good effort on the black, I must say, and it actually was very close to the way I played it. But uh, 
because of all that, I thought you should have done this and I thought you should have done that. I wasn't impressed with that whatsoever. So I'm going to give you another little treat. I must admit the explanation was getting on my nerves. But, but he did bridge from off the cushion, so I'll give him five for observation. I think, yeah, for me, for being a smart ass, four. <laughs> I thought you went on a little bit, but I'm it was sorry, very sorry. well presented and I thought it was very nice work. Five. John was right, my hand was probably shaking like that at the time. Queuing off the bridge. Yeah, I think, yeah, it's too much queue right there. Actually. And it went something like this. Oh! Yes! 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 Well played. Go and get the car. Yes. <laughs> yes. Marvellous. Well, if it had potted at the time, I'd have given him the score. I've waited a long time to do it, but I'm going to give him a 10. Oh. The maximum. <laughs> well, just to set the record straight, uh, obviously, uh, as we were getting closer to the finishing line, we want the last shot to be very close as well. And quickly summing things up, I think I'm going to give Ken a 1 for an excellent one shot. <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe the expression after the horse has bolted comes to mind, mate. Absolutely. Bad luck. Five halfway there. Halfway for me as well, because I think you tried to miss that, Ken. <laughs> you you cued that so badly <laughs> that you bothered it. So you <laughs> That was a shocker for the Nugget, scoring a measly four points. Dennis's 17 points now sees him take a share of the overall lead with Steve. Incredibly, just seven points separate our five competitors. <laughs>